Gemini, honey, how are you? Happy new moon in Libra, in eclipse, trying to your air sign. Your brain must be really upgrading right now. I'm really proud of you. Um, please slow down. I don't know what I'm going to actually put as the title for this video, but literally the second that I finished the Taurus video, I wrote slow down, breathe. I think that was the title of your last video or some version of that. And then I also wrote down overindulgence and addictions. So I'm going to leave that there. I feel like I pro I'm going to check the analytics. I probably lost a lot of you within that moment. So it's not easy to look at our own participation in the things that we did not like. It's very easy for us to say, shit, when I was friends with these people, I used to do all this because they made me feel the way that they did. Like, and I just was like, it was like, actually, honey, you are a completely sovereign person. Nobody is forcing you to do a single thing on this planet. So this new moon is happening in your fifth house of creativity, play, romance, childlike spirits, kiddos, if you want those things. I feel as though I'm just going to highlight if none of what I just said is applicable to you. And if you're keen to have children, channel them in now. They are literally the most divine consciousnesses. They're my teachers. I will teach you telepathy. I have a program of telepathy 101, like beyond powerful beings beyond powerful beings. So if none of what I had said and you're just keen to make babies, go make babies, go have fun. Um, I also have to highlight. No, they don't want me to say it. Okay, because it doesn't have to apply to you. Um, we have Saturn as well as Neptune in our house of public life, career, legacy. Your everyday life is in Scorpio and Mars just went into the sign of Scorpio. But like right now I have two outer planets, two heavy hitters still retrograde. So you must feel as though everyone is watching and that you constantly have kale in your teeth. That is just the planets. I just want to say that. But the reason that I said addictions and overindulgence is because of the intensity of like we're in Libra season. How uh, any air signs function is absolutely beyond me, especially in an air sign season. So gem rising as well as Aquarius and Aquarius rising. So, oh, this grid is for Gemini rising, but these readings can always be watched by Gemini sun as well as the Gemini moon to get the vibrations. But because we're in that triangle, that trine to your sign, the sun and moon are really, it's like free flowing energy, beautiful free flowing energy. So you're being activated as fuck right now, gem and um, Aquarius, but we're talking about gem. You're being activated as fuck. South node is in your house of creativity, play, romance. Mars is in your house of everyday life and practical service. Especially in Libra season, you can choose violence or you can choose the awakened path at every single moment in time. And hon I'm a mystic, so like I've gone down every single motherfucking bad path that I possibly could. I'm like, oh, that looks terrifying down there. And then God literally prevented me from doing like irreparable damage to my body. So if you're interested in any of those tales, I have a series that I've been starting called Waking Up Post Woke. It's my human story. So I have an introductory video as well as the childhood video already out and available to you. So if you're interested in that information, I highlight all of those themes because like when you're confused and you really just like need friends and you just like need to feel some version of safety in this world, especially when you're like, it's so easy to take someone who's very, very enlightened and bright and be like, you wanna do this. You totally, it's sugar's not hurting you. You're fine. I'll just have another drink. Who cares? Who cares? Um, your body and your soul do. And your brain does. Yeah, it's like so much is going on over here. The North Node is trying to bless your house of community, friendships, and wishes of the futures. But Chiron's still in that house. It's just like, don't play with the ones that you shouldn't be playing with. Don't hang out with them. You know better. You know better. Be uncomfortable with your new woo-woo friends. Show up in a meditation circle. Show up to an introductory at something. Show up to a session, pay a tarot reader or an astrologer. Hi, my email address is always listed below. Like one of my favorite things to do is like full sessions that I record and send to you. I'll do a full chart reading for you, honey. And you can just watch as many times as you want, deep dive into it. It's one of my favorite services to offer. So reach out directly because truly all that matters in this time 
The only thing that matters is radical self-acceptance and self-awareness and speaking from I statements. You cannot control what's happening on the other side of the planet. You cannot control your neighbor. You cannot control any of the things. You can manifest and you, you created this reality, yes. But right now we're literally in the demolition of the old world. It's volatile fucking energy out there. And I don't say this to scare you. I say the only thing that you have to master is yourself and knowing how to say no and knowing how to say yes and knowing how to listen to, is this my left brain? Is this my right brain? Is this my, you know? Okay, it's just because if someone else is watching this that is not a Gemini, there's two functioning brains in the Gemini. So if anyone has ever told you, Gem, that you interrupt, that you have ADD, you don't. You have two brains and you're trying to teach me something because the other brain took over. You just need more Aries friends or Leo friends. That's all. That's all. They just didn't take the time to get to know you. And they're not letting you be your full self. That's all. That's all. So if what I'm saying is resonating with you, Mars is trying to really bless your everyday life and practical service. So when you say no, what is meant for you will find you because it's not meant for anybody else. One of the biggest parts of the beginning of your awakening is the FOMO when you start to be like, actually, I kind of, my whole body is like in trauma response. So I'm going to go home and take a bath and just like work on calming my nervous system and like drink some chamomile tea and I'm just not going to go out tonight. And you'll get the backlash. And it's not easy, but no is a complete sentence. And if you say no and they're like, come on, you don't even have to respond to the second one. No, ma'am. Absolutely not. <laughs> Your house of communication is run by Leo. If that's not, fuck around and find out. I don't know what is. <laughs> yeah. Um, but the full moon eclipse that we have coming up in a few weeks is going to be in your 12th house of soul purpose. So I would just like... Let him go. That's my guides are doing this. They're like, just, just, it's okay just to say no or learning how to say no. That's what I'm going to title your video. Learning how to say no. And no is a complete sentence. You don't owe anybody any justification because when you're on a spiritual journey, no one is going to understand what you're doing or why. And that doesn't matter. This is your soul's journey and development actually for some reason there i have um like a one-off that you can purchase the awakeners crash course and quest it's like two plus hours of like 101 facts about like what to do when you first awaken and i talk about like the leadership growth and development what you can do if you're still in corporate talk to your team what you can do with the woo side of things and like what you can do with the creative expressive side of things so if anyone is interested it's 22 dollars and 22 cents two 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 um the link to that is in my about page so it's under the course and stuff it's a gumroad download very very easily and very one-on-one -on -one and accessible but that's for some reason my guides were popping that into my brain I like never like pitching things at you guys you know how to call me you know where to find me if you ever need anything I'm here to help you whittle tools to help yourself and what has happened since 2008 will never happen again there's just a that's Pluto fucking with you that's Pluto fucking with you Yeah, it's astrologically based. I just felt so many of you right there. That was so freaking cool. Oh my gosh, Jem, I'm so grateful for you. Learning how to say no is one of the hottest things ever. But actually, the for some reason, Mary-Kate and Ashley Olson are popping into my head right now. And it's I saw an interview with them a long, long time ago where that like they were infants when they first started working. So one of the things that their parents and their team had always said to them, I don't know if they're part of the boys club or not I really hope not I really hope not please please if somebody has that intel please comment below but they had just learned at a very young age that no is a complete sentence do you want to work today no and they didn't have to so just that's an option you don't have to show up to the potty you have to show up at the event you don't have to do a single motherfucking thing if it lowers your vibe I don't want you there 
You and Sag, learning how to say no is a big deal. I love you. I'll see you in a few weeks.